Hi there, my name is Amy and I'm going to show you how you can create item events that have exclusive date spans to restrict the availability of your items. So today we're going to be working with this bicycle tour of London's historic houses. I'm just going to show you how it is functioning currently. So as you can see, it's available every day here, just fully available on all the days from today's date onward. So now we're going to go into this item and we're going to set it by default to unavailable. So now this item is completely unavailable, but what we're going to do is we're going to open it up with a seasonal item event and we're going to select some specific dates for this event to be open, an exclusive event. And we're going to do today's date to Saturday. And we're going to save. And we're going to save the item. And I'm going to show you now how those exclusive dates are functioning. So now, as you can see, the only days that are available to book are within that exclusive time frame. So by making the event unavailable by default and then opening up that availability using a seasonal item event as well as exclusive dates allows you to create items for specific events. And this can also be done kind of in the reverse. So let's make this default available and remove this. And let's create a closure date. Exclusive closure. And we're going to do the same time frame. So today's date to the second. And we're going to close, close this item for those few days. And as you can see, it's actually not even showing up on our booking page anymore because it's not available up until the second. So let's go to the third and see if it reappears. And there you have it. It reappears. So by default, it's not showing you um, it on the booking page because it's actually not available today up until the second. So if it were if today were the third, then you would be able to see it. And that's basically how exclusive date spans work with item events.